Whether you've been running for decades or for months, you have a unique running style. There are a few indicators that affect your running economy. The first is cadence, or the number of steps you take per minute. Cadence is your foot turnover, or how quickly you can pick them up and put them down. The next is vertical oscillation, which is the amount of bounce in your running stride. And then there's ground contact time, which is just like it sounds, how much time your foot spends on the ground. Monitoring these indicators can help you achieve optimal running form. Running Dynamics is a category of indicators that provide feedback on your running form. To see these metrics on your 620 and later in Garmin Connect, you need to use your watch with the HRM Run monitor, which is included with some models or available as an accessory. The HRM Run monitor has an accelerometer in the module, which is attached to a comfortable chest strap. The accelerometer measures your torso movement as you run in order to compute your running dynamics. The HRM Run also sends heart rate data to your watch. When you're wearing the HRM Run monitor, the Running Dynamics data screen will appear as one of your data screens. From the timer screen, tap or swipe the touch screen to advance to that screen. The top data field shows not only a numeric value for your cadence, but also a color gauge indicating how your value compares to other runners. If your value is in the middle green zone, this indicates that it is around the population average. More experienced runners are more likely to have values in the blue or purple zones. The other two data fields show just a numeric value. You can customize the screen so that you can see vertical oscillation or ground contact time as the primary metric, along with the color gauge comparing your value to others. Just press and hold the top data field, scroll and tap to select a different metric. The first metric we're going to cover is cadence, which is the total number of steps that you take per minute, left and right foot combined. Cadence varies between runners for a number of reasons. Taller runners tend to have slightly slower cadence than shorter runners, and more experienced runners tend to have a higher cadence than beginners. Most runners have a cadence between 150 and 200 steps per minute, regardless of their speed. Many running coaches recommend aiming for a cadence around 180 steps per minute. If you previously used a Garmin watch and a foot pod, keep in mind that it calculated cadence by counting every other step, while the cadence metric on Forerunner 620 includes every step, so the values will be double. With the 620, cadence comes from the accelerometer in the HRM Run Monitor, so you don't need a separate foot pod for cadence. The next metric we're going to cover, vertical oscillation. Sounds technical, but it's really very simple. Vertical oscillation is the degree of bounce in your running motion. Keeping tabs on your vertical oscillation and knowing what range to strive for can help you minimize wasted up and down movement while running. Generally, the less bouncy your stride, the more efficient you are at moving forward. Most runners have a vertical oscillation ranging between six and 13 centimeters and that can vary based on the runner's height. As you run, the accelerometer in the HRM Run Monitor records the peak to valley change in your torso movement, measured from the module on the chest strap. The next metric, ground contact time, is how much time your foot spends on the ground during each running step. Monitoring your ground contact time can lead to better running economy. Running with a light and quick foot produces a more efficient forward motion. Most runners have a ground contact time between 190 and 330 milliseconds per step. Elite runners typically have a ground contact time below 200 milliseconds. Forerunner 620, when used with the HRM run, records the amount of time spent on the ground with each running step, measured in milliseconds. When your run's done and it's sent to Garmin Connect, you can analyze your running dynamics data even closer. 